Ikari. Time Sprout. It's not every day you wake up in a new dimension. There you go. You'll get the hang of it in no time.
guess we've got a lot to discuss. Who... who are you? I'm... I'm Polly. Actually, you're harmony for us over here. I'm Fliss. This world is reverie. And it's in big trouble. What? Both my world and yours are on the brink of collapse. Not pillaged and plundered by an invading army or something cool like that. No, this is ugly. Bad news. Collapsing from within, you know? Wait, slow down, please. I was just in my mother's room and I picked up this necklace and... See this? Look at it for too long, Sprout. It'll bum you out. It's incredible. And yet, it's fragile. More than it has ever been. Touch the heart of reverie. Touch it! Touch it and see the future! What the...? You're connected to reverie now. You'll be able to travel between our world and yours. What do you mean, travel? I have so many questions. Looks like you're searching for your mother. This will point you in the right direction. Introducing the Augural, an amazing tool you can use to strategize and plan out the future. Uh, how do I use it? For yourself, Sprout. allows you to see the future. That's this board, you know. Before today, time was linear for you. From now on, well, it dances to your tune. It's incredible. How? How come I can do that? I'm an aspiration. Me and my friends need a heart to exist. But our heart is... weak. And you, you're special, Sprout. You can help us. You can save us all! Let's start with something easy. Truth or dare?
truth. Tell me about your mum. Do you like her? Things were... are... difficult between us. Good. You made a choice. And now, what we're experiencing is unique and special. Don't worry about that. I'm trying, but I can't help catching some of them. Like listening to a foreign lingo you half know. But go on. Tell me about your mother. You make it sound so... <laughs> clinical. It's just that I... I never knew her. I mean... She's always been there, pushing me, picking me up after failures and mistakes. But who she really is, deep down, as a person, I have no clue. Oh, what the... Is this your room? Nice. Oh. You're... here? Well, sort of. I'm really still in reverie, but with a bit of effort, we aspirations can push ourselves into brittle. And as you shifted yourself back here, I thought I'd come with. I did? Don't worry about it. Those new powers of yours will take a bit of getting used to. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, your mum. Would you say she was distant? Always. She kept me at bay. Refused to let me into her world. She wanted me to become this great artist. And instead I went into medical research. She was always there, always present, but never close. Does that make sense? She never even cried. When Dad left, she simply closed that book and opened another one. What's going on? Don't ask me. You're the one who brought us here. Travelling between worlds like it's nothing is... Well, shows what amazing powers you have. I sense a new being, a new force. It's getting closer. That, I believe, would be me. I am power, an aspiration like our 
minuscule bliss over there. No offense, bliss. None taken. I prefer the term fun sized. You must be harmony. You have seen how weak our heart is. It won't last long. Great changes would come to pass. You might even call them cataclysmic. But what can I do? I'm just looking for my mother. I didn't ask for any of this. You now know the chance does not exist. The futures laid out before you will force your hand. They will require you to make choices. Choices that are ruthless, difficult, even painful. Choose wisely, follow your objective, and your diligence will be rewarded with a valuable resource. Ah, uh, knew I forgot something. There's this energy called a Gregor, right? It's basically how we exist in your world. It kind of tastes like, you know that blue soda? Egregor is rare and powerful. It is not to be drunk. Some choices you make will generate Egregor and bind us together. Use it wisely. What? What are you expecting from me? Got it. I can tell because your mind's gone all hard. Difficult to hear. We have much more to tell you, but a good leader knows what to reveal and what to leave unsaid. For now, of course. your mother, Harmony. Her disappearance must be linked with what happened here. Some of our number are lost. Scattered. And we work better if we're a team. But that's for later. Right now, the priority is your mother. Exactly. We must find her. Or else... Your heart will get weaker? Find your mother. Explore the futures.
Is that it? Polly? Polly! You're here! Nora! Come here! How are you? Good! I mean... Fine. Considering what's going on. It's okay. We'll find her. I know we will. So much has happened. Tell me. Hold on, I need some coffee. It's keeping my brain from rotting. Grandpa's gone through all five stages of grief, though for a while I thought he was stuck on denial. <sighs> Nothing beats a really cheap, super strong coffee. Can she see you? Oh no, 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 you're fine. Just don't start talking to yourself. Weirds people out. I'm so sorry. I'm talking so much. I can't believe it's the first time you've been back in years. Yeah, it's... you know. Oh, I know. Things were difficult with Ursula. But she... She'd been different lately. We had a fight before she went missing. Ursula was upset with you. Have you heard about all the job openings at MK? The city's getting more expensive by the minute, and the pay's good, and it's interesting work, I guess. Did I mention the pay? Because... Paul, we're barely getting by here. And there's this school I'd like to go to. A rather expensive school. But Ursula felt I was betraying myself, and we had a fight, and I... Had to sleep at a friend's place for a couple of days. That bad? I just needed some space. Some air. I know MK isn't perfect, but... I can't live here forever. No way I can move out without a job. What do you think?
disappointed and you are about to tell her what she needs to hear not what she wants to hear maybe it's just me but I can't picture you in a monoconzern uniform I know I know, but the pay is, it would change a lot for me. No, you're right. It's, it's not a good idea. They've been increasing security all over the island. MK is everywhere these days, hard to avoid. And I know I won't change anything by myself, but... You cannot take back your words. Moving forward is the only way to travel this road, Harmony. You did well. Uh, sorry, it was... No, it was a bad idea. Can I have a hug? You know I didn't mean to make you feel guilty, right? I know. Don't worry. I'm tough. On the inside. Of course you are. This is good. The hug, I mean. <laughs> it is. Come on. I guess we should go find Laszlo. Yeah. I could do with a drink. chosen well thus far. Is this your... your realm? Indeed. A place of strength, of fortitude. But a realm implies a kingdom, a title, a crown. We aspirations are neither kings nor queens nor anything in between. Neither deities nor demigods. We simply are. Aspirations are intrinsically linked to your world and your kind. Have you always been here? Always. Since the dawn of your kind. 
since your first dream, your first wish, your first complex thought. <laughs> it must come as a shock to lose the luxury of your ignorance. Aspirations are much more than we appear. We give off an energy that is neither good nor bad harmony. Like gods. Gods are invented, and inventions can be killed. No. No. We are much more, greater than gods. But our strength is limited to this place. We need a firm hand to restore our world. And my world too, right? If I understood, we're connected. You need us humans. And we need you. Establish and assert your own will. Follow my path and we can change the world. Our worlds. Because whatever is about to come, dear Harmony, even I cannot predict what it will be. You. Sorry. This is all... This is a lot. Are you real? Is any of this real? Or am I having some sort of waking nightmare? First, thanks. Nightmare indeed. Second, it's very real, Sprout. I just... Need a minute. It's okay. Really. We're really impressed by everything you've done so far. Soon, you'll be able to see even further on the Orgul. How far ahead? Depends on your choices. On who you side with. On what happens. I... I can tell you don't exactly trust me. Even if I can't read your mind anymore. You mentioned my mother. As soon as I stepped into all this, you knew. And you wanted me to find her. What's going on with her? Do you know Ursula? Ursula was here before. In your shoes. In this place. Wearing this necklace. And she tried to do everything you've been doing today, and... She failed. She wasn't the right person. Why? I can't tell you directly. Whatever happened... It broke us. It almost ruined Reverie. And we forgot. Our minds, our bodies were twisted and erased.
We need your help. And you need ours. There's an aspiration called truth. They know a lot. I mean, of course. If you could find a way to save them, it would mean the world to us. I know it's unfair to ask you to go out there without any more information. It'll be okay. I understand the stakes. And... I'll do my best. I came out here for like two hours last week. I believe it. They suck you in, don't they? Especially when the sea is calm and you can see them reflected down there. <laughs> All right. Time to rip off the bandage. Let's go see Laszlo. I'll be at your side. I know you will. You haven't seen him the last few days? Full on denial. It's killing me to see him like this. Sounds rough. But we'll find a way, right? Even if we have to outdrink him with his own imported beers. Expensive. And I'm broke, just so you know.
Greetings. Oh, uh, did I startle you? Where am I? Who are you? Another aspiration. Exactly. I'm Bond. My siblings keep forgetting about me. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No. No. I guess I'm getting used to it. I feel at home, somehow. Naturally. My path is one of community, friendship, and empathy. My mangrove forest is a place of warmth and safety. And I am an excellent host. The journey before you, Harmony, is one with many roads and even more destinations. I am here to guide you towards those that lead to understanding, not conflict. I know this won't be as simple as that, unfortunately. Oh, you mean your mother. I know you will find a way to uh, see eye to eye with her. I don't wish to keep you. Before you go, I have but one piece of advice. Remain mindful of others. Then your journey may be one of discovery, not destruction. He wasn't even talking to me. Can you believe it? What an idiot. Well, we're here. Polly, you're here. I'm so glad you're finally here. My word, it's good to see you, Polly. You look like a strong breeze would knock you over. Are you eating? Here, look, I've got snacks behind the bar.
Here we go, a Polly special on the house. Ooh, right down memory lane. Wait, wait, I forgot something. Don't move. tell you about the storm a while back? I've seen pictures. How bad was it? A bit of flooding around the island, but the walls held and the roof barely leaked at home. Nora helped board up the bar. <laughs> we had a good laugh at all the drowned drones the next day. Spotted some MK folks trying to scoop them up before they floated out to sea. Competitive drone fishing. <laughs> A sport where nobody wins. getting him to open up in this place. But if you took him on a little walk somewhere... Exactly. I knew there was a reason we called you back, Polly and her brilliant ideas. Good luck. Let's take a walk. What do you mean? You just got here. And the bar. Nora can watch the bar for a few minutes. Come on. Just around the block. I want to see how it's changed.
How are you, Laszlo? With everything. Ursula. Oh, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. I came here such a long time ago, I sometimes forget how complicated life was before. On a Tina, it sometimes feels like you could just go for a swim and let your problems dissolve in the ocean. I know the feeling. I know you do. <laughs> You're from this place, after all. Relieved. That's not what I was expecting. Sounds terrible, doesn't it? I knew something was up. She was acting strangely at home. Like when you were young. Not enough for me to say anything. <laughs> you know how she gets. But uh, different. Something was definitely coming. has been a day. Definitely a day. Tomorrow's creeping up on us already. Sweetheart, I... I, I... I'm so sorry. We're broke. Flat broke. The Nyads. I... We've run out of track. I don't know what else to do. Run out? Money's tight, Polly. Very tight. I can't keep that from you any longer. And now that she... Now she's disappeared, I... <laughs> I don't know what to do. And... I'm scared.
Are you sure you saw it in here? Yes, it was by the sink. I was listening to my podcast. Researching about the Oxions, are you? I'm sure there's a connection between them uh, and Ursula and... Oh! Morning, sleepyhead. How are you two this awake already? Already? It's nearly lunch. Grandpa, tell her! Tell me what? No, you do it. We have a lead! On Ursula. I just remembered something. A girl, who used to come here often before Ursula disappeared. She came to meet with Ursula, several times, in fact. I asked who she was, and your mother said she was a journalist, interested in publishing some of her poems. Which is weird. Nobody publishes poetry nowadays. Uh, I have to admit that Ursula hasn't sold a single text in decades. Poetry's dead, I guess. Anyway, I didn't push it. Assumed your mother would tell me the truth when she was ready. But then... I mentioned her to Nora, but... I don't follow the magazines around here. Not a big reader, unfortunately. But something about her sounded familiar, you know? Grandpa actually gave a pretty detailed description. <laughs> She's pretty memorable. At first, I was a bit puzzled. And then I remembered who it might be. Jade. I... Okay. Jade. Jade Galea? I'm a little behind on Athenian politics, Nora. Okay, fine. She's quite famous around here. She's organized a lot of protests. I follow her on all the socials. We've never talked as such, but we have a bunch of mutuals. I sent her a message this morning, but no reply. But my friends, her friends, they'll know where she is, for sure. She's also the editor of a local magazine, uh, probably where she was going to publish the poems. There's only one printer like that on Atina. The rest is controlled by MK. We could check there, see if they know where we could find her.
friends first. Yes, yes, great, perfect. Come on, I know where they hang out. Are they your friends as well? Mm, no, not really. We have mutual friends and some similar interests. Weird, huh? What's weird? The fact that Nora is an individual person now. Not just a little kid. She has friends and places where she hangs out. Ah, oh, that feeling. <laughs> a part of me is sad because I feel terribly old. But the rest of me is happy to see that Nora is her own human being now. human being who can make mistakes. Yeah. And like every other human being, she can fix them. So, they're a bit suspicious. I'm not sure about how to, not what to do about that. Frank, let's not beat around the bush. Right. Right. She's a good kid. So? So, they are extremely cool. <laughs> yeah, I gathered. But, they haven't seen Jade in a while. Said she's not even online all that much these days. No posts, no replying to messages, that sort of thing. They were supposed to go to a protest yesterday and Jade didn't show. Which I guess is extremely unlike her. Well, that doesn't sound like a coincidence. Ursula? Could be, but Ursula disappeared weeks ago. They said the skate park was the best place to look for her. That sounds like a start. Good job, Detective Nora. Too much. Too much. It was here for us. Polly, it was just a patrol. You've been gone a while. Things aren't like they used to be. Rule number one on a Tina never say anything around a drone you wouldn't want recorded. Damn, things are everywhere these days. City sounds like a giant beehive. Monoconzern owns this island, or they will. Control of everything, public services, advertising, even security. It's all theirs now. Well then, might they have something to do with how Jade's suddenly keeping a low profile? 
Her friends don't think so. They said something about some personal issues. Nothing specific, though. Politics, too vague, nothing to work with. You ask me, though, that damn company's involved somehow. They always are when things go tits up. Jade seems to be well known, respected even. No way they don't know about her. To be as young as her, carrying all that weight, I'd probably want to escape the limelight from time to time, too. What about Ursula? Do you think MK is interested in her too? I can't see why they would be. What, what would they want with a poet? What if? What if they weren't interested in her? What if she was with them? Hmm. She would have said something. Or, well, or not, if it was risky for us. I don't like where this is going, but... First, the skate park. Exactly. Look, your mother may not be the best-known woman on this island, but she has connections. Hell, the Nyads is basically a community center, and, and everyone at the bar knows her. We get her face up everywhere, tell people to contact us. We're bound to get something back. And if we do find this Jade, well, we could run an ad in that magazine of hers. Use her network to spread the word even further. Exactly. That sounds like a pretty good way to piss off MK. Yeah, but Jade's our best chance. If we get close to her, we get closer to MK as well.
momentum going. Reverie still needs you. No! Ugh. Can you try to wrap it up before I rage quit this game? this from me, but power's getting all ceremonial about the truth situation. Jade? Can I help you? This is Nora and Laszlo. I'm Polly, Ursula's daughter, from the Naiads. My mother is missing, and we were wondering if you could help us. We know you visited her a few times at home before she disappeared? We were just wondering if you could tell us what you talked about. If it involved Monokonzan at all? When did she disappear exactly? What was she like the day before? Was she acting strange? to press you on this. I really am, but we really need to know if you two were planning anything. Beyond the poetry. Who's the last person who saw her?
fight her. I know. I'm trying. to know why you were talking to Ursula. She told us you were interested in publishing her poetry, but given all that's happened, well, I don't think that's the half of it. Fine. I was doing another investigation into MK and Ursula was helping. We believe the company was dipping its toes into medical care or a public health program. A couple of neighborhood kids said an MK agent had offered them coupons and free samples, said it was to test a new product line. They call it Egregore. They claimed it was gonna help them with exams, stress, clarity of mind and all that. That's all I know. Wait. You contacted my mother because of her work on the Oxians, on the history of Atina, right? I only stumbled across them by chance. Sounds like MK tried to have them burned. But a few copies survived. They were the only other references to Egregore I've ever found. for betting, but if I were, I'd bet this whole island that MK has their fingers in this pie. Maybe... Maybe you could... Nora said you had a huge following. Um, online? Did she? Well, I wouldn't say huge. Sizable, though, yeah. Could you put the word out? Through the networks? Someone might know something, might have seen something. My mother wasn't exactly an unknown quantity in Alma. 
Maybe someone saw her leave? Well, that's tricky, isn't it? It is? Yeah, those networks. They're the lifeblood of Atina's resistance. If I go making them a fact-finding posse, well, MK's gonna shut that down quick as you like. for days. We heard you might be the sort of person who'd want to help. Help when people are lost. But you're just digging for details. Is the story all you care about? We don't need that. Come on, Paul. If she's not gonna help us, we'll find someone who will. so hyped. But who you are, what you do, you, you seem to be doing so much good around here. I really don't have words for it, so I thought... But I... I understand I'm in no position to ask for more. Let's go. Nora. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to... Oh, hell, I'm... It's okay. It is. Don't worry about it. The last few days, they've been a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. The last few months, even. Harder than anything I could ever imagine. Sorry. Really. I... That was rude of me. Disrespectful. Not my intention. No, please. It's all right. Really. I've spent the last weeks, months actually, digging into MK's plan for this place and I just can't take it anymore. They own everything. The systems, the records, the security. They roll over the vulnerable and suck up every resource they can. It's heinous. It's unfair. And I can't do anything to stop it. And no one gives a shit. Feels like it's just me out here sometimes, you know? I know that's not true, but it feels like it. I have people with me, sure. Friends, comrades, but... But it never stops. Now Ursula and... Yeah. Yeah, 
It's all gotten a little much. I'm sorry too. Guess I didn't realise I was so angry about everything. I... I think I'd feel the same in your shoes. <laughs> Thanks. I... It's just like... I'd like to help if I can. I don't know if I'm good for anything at the moment. Burnout's a hell of a thing. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. I'll hit up my network. Are you sure? Yeah. It's still risky, but it's not like shouting the search from the rooftops. No offence. None taken. If MK Cotton's on, we've got a better chance of containing it if we know who knows what. It's our best option. For sure. It's not easy for someone to go missing on this island. Everyone knows everyone and everything. I'm as a small world. A tight-knit community. You'll find her. Problem is, you've got MK between where you are now and where you want to be. No way you're avoiding a tussle. it before, but um, I think I was approached by those MK goons you mentioned. The um, public health project guys? Shit. Egregore and everything. Yeah. Listen. You didn't ask for it, but here's my advice. You see them coming again, you run. Or tell them to fuck off or scream at them or whatever. But do not take their money, Nora. I'm serious. No, yeah, I'm, I, I wasn't going to. I've heard rumours. People who came back the very opposite of healthy. And ones who never came back at all. There have been other disappearances? Hard to tell. People go missing all the time especially the one society pushes to its edge. Sometimes they just move on, change cities. There are rarely any records. But recently, a lot more people than normal have gone away. 
and most haven't come back. But the ones who did come back? Said they were given this egregore stuff, pills or injections, and that was it. Some got sick, others were fine. But no clarity of mind business. And bear that burden you shall. You must. Someone's been busy. Well, guess what? We've been busy too. You're not the only bunch investigating. Bond and Power and I have news. Truth still clings to life, but they are beyond our reach alone. Even our own ties have been severed. But we are close. So very close. Our world does not cease to be when you are not viewing it. It is imperative that you stabilize your home front quickly so that you may assist us in reverie. Do whatever you must. We know. So here's the plan. We can clear the way to Truth Sanctuary, but after that we'll have to summon you. Be ready. Someone worked hard to keep us from entering, but together, Power and I, we found a way inside. Come, let's get this over with. Let us proceed. Agreed. It's working. Keep your distance. This may be...
I am truth. I am the eye that sees, the unveiled, the watcher in the dark. And I am whole once more, thanks to you, Harmony. You're welcome. But please, my mother, Ursula Beauclair, do you know where she is? My memories remain out of reach, shattered like my cell. Although I cannot tell you where your mother may be, I do know her fate is entwined with that of chaos. And that it was chaos who incapacitated me. This is outrageous. We have tolerated this charlatan's exploits for far too long. I've told you before, chaos would be the death of us, always scheming and plotting against their own kin. They may have a maze, but I have an army. I'll flush him out in no time. I don't like the sound of that at all. No. Such violence would only widen the rift that already threatens to tear Reverie apart. Right? We need to listen to each other, please. Harmony, our kin Chaos retreated to their endless maze shortly after Truth disappeared. Is it impenetrable? It's a labyrinth of trickery and tomfoolery built by a coward. I'd go in there myself, only... Only we cannot enter an Aspiration's domain without being invited. And that charlatan will never let us in. They will refuse to fight face to face. That's enough. Chaos may be unbound, but the secret to their return is consensus, not division. Bond is correct. War is an engine of strife and in direct opposition to our needs. And may I remind you we have other matters to attend to. Our realm lies in tatters a shadow of itself. Glory refuses reason at every turn. We must decide where our attention is most required. I have to find my mother, for the sake of my own family. I... I hope you understand. Certainly. It is the logical choice. But I would suggest that a search for chaos and a search for Ursula may well be one and the same. I don't understand. Why would they be linked? What aren't you telling me? I may have a mutually beneficial solution. May. As I say, my memory remains treacherous. Go home. Await the coming of tomorrow. And we will see if fate guides us true. Fate? Fate is an easy word to throw around. I... I'll wait for tomorrow. I am pleased.
pretty mess, wasn't it? Chaos. I don't understand. Bond said you were hiding, so how are you here? Now? Hiding? <laughs> I'm not hiding. I'm out here relaxing. Taking a load off. Escaping the rat race. You've seen the others. Can you blame me? Doesn't mean I can't talk to you, though, you lucky thing. But why? Why won't you work with them, then? Because they've got it all wrong, you see? I am chaos, as much as true... is truth and power is power. They aren't just names, my dear. I'm not hiding from you. I'm just in a place that requires effort to reach. Live your life by my name. I'm sure we'll see each other soon. Bye-bye for now. So, what's the plan? I just woke up, Grandpa. The plan is to find some breakfast. <laughs> you mean get me to make you some breakfast, hmm? If you're offering. Polly, got any more substantial, less food-oriented ideas, dear? I... I'm trying to figure out our next move. We don't know where Ursula is. Not a clue. We need a lead. <sighs> we need a miracle. You were saying?
can we help you? I'm Omar. I was hoping we could have a word about Ursula. about her I heard about her disappearance it's the talk of the town she didn't show up for a recent appointment so I wanted to lend a hand uh, who are you exactly I own a bookshop on Liberation Road academic stuff mainly well, that's in these days, right? Nerd stuff. I specialize in literature about the Oxion culture. and I shared an interest in that specific topic until her disappearance. But once I heard about that, I had to come here and offer my help. But after all, it's about giving back. But the Nyads is a part of this community, right? This place was quite the landmark. Back in the day, of course. A refuge for artists, Poets and lost souls. I'm Nora, and this is Laszlo, and I'm Polly, Ursula's daughter. Daughter? That's uh, interesting. How so? I had a sort of dream, vague and, and very hard to decipher. The Oxyon word for daughter kept coming up. Well, nice to meet you, Omar. years back. Did my masters on the Oxion civilization, so obviously I had to come here to finish it. How did you end up living here? We've been here since forever. Ursula used all of her money to keep this place afloat. Now it's just debts and leaky pipes. Perhaps. Consider Omer here a helpful stranger, encountered on an unknown path. One who does not know the way, but is in possession of a map. Think of this as a resetting of the balance. So, what do you know about Ursula? Did you notice anything strange about her? 
Calm down, Grandpa. But did she say anything to you about leaving? About going away? Do you have any leads? I'd let them ask their questions before letting him into your sanctum. You can never tell with people. Not these days. But you sent him to us. More like he washed up on your shores. Whatever they might say, truth is relieved. As are we all. Yes, thankful also. You're welcome. But right now, I've got a stranger to deal with. You and Ursula were friends? Yes. Yes, I suppose we were. We bonded over our love of the Oxion culture and... Yes. Friends. But I haven't known her that long. A few months, maybe. Wow. I guess it's our lucky day. You might be just the person we've been looking for. Look at him! For a man who prides himself on being pure-hearted, he's quite the bleeding heart. Oh, you're no fun. So, Ursula, how often did you two meet? She popped by the bookshop when she was in the area, uh, every few days. And recently we'd met as friends, social calls. She never mentioned you. She talked about you all the time. I went to your bar once and I was struck by um, how similar you were to her description. Again, it's a compliment. Let's not get sidetracked. The last time you saw her was... A few weeks ago. She came by to borrow a book I'd recommended. Oxion Legacy and the Spiritualist Diaspora. She didn't seem out of sorts. Oh, I actually bought something that could be of help. Whether Omar means to or not, he brings great upheaval. Right now, 
Upheaval or no, he's all we've got. found these. I think... I think they might provide a clue. Or a lead. Or... Well, I'm not a detective, but... They look relevant. At least. Ursula's handwriting. Yes. It's part of her latest work. She gave them to me a few weeks ago and... claimed she had a notebook somewhere containing the rest. I... I think I can help you. I know exactly where it is. Wait here, all of you. You're becoming our lucky charm. <laughs> well, I was just worried about Ursula. It's, um... Good to know I'm not alone. We'll get to the bottom of this. Now that we have a lead, there's no stopping us. She told me where it was years ago. No secrets between us. But I couldn't bring myself to open it and read it. it it's her personal stuff, you know? Perfect. I know we might regret this later, but... Sometimes the unethical thing to do is the right one. It's filled uh, cover to cover. Uh, too much for one person to read. If I just... Ah, there. Uh, Nora, was it? Here. Two sheets. Laszlo, take these three. I'll take these other three. And Polly, these are yours. What have you... I hope you'll all agree this is no time for unnecessary hesitation. The sooner we read Ursula's work, the sooner we'll find out if she left any clue to her disappearance. to live in a world where I drown in the memory of you. The rage inside still hasn't burnt away the tears. I'll meet you again in a fraction of time. Someday. feels wrong, 
But you know as well as I do. That it's the only way. I do. Why did she even give you those pages? Because I asked. She was writing again. For the first time in a long time, she said. She wanted an unbiased opinion, and I, um, offered my services. But you never read them? Once I saw they were poems, I... No. I thought she was working on some new Oxyon translations. Verse, though. Not my bag. So much for the enlightened academic shtick. My mother's work can get a little... heavy sometimes. But this new stuff, from the notebook, it's full of references to Oxyon traditions and rituals. A treasure trove, really. I'm going to go back to him. Why don't you go and check on the others? They look a little... lost. Okay. Nora? What? Oh, hey, I just... You look a little... Polly, wait, no, uh... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to snap. Ursula's poems? That good, huh? Something like that. They're all about her dreams, how vivid they could be. I've read her work before, and this is by far the most literal I've seen her. According to this, she dreamed a lot about family, us, where we've been, and where we're going. She says that the poems claim that she can predict the future. of me. What did you do that for, sneaking around like that? Could have stomped up and slapped you on the back of the head and you wouldn't have noticed. Well, come on, spill. No one, just a friend. Hey, cut it out. Jade? I... Maybe. I was going to, you know, text her, but now I'm not so sure. I didn't know you two were text level friendly. That's so cool. What are you talking about? Nothing. Stuff. The poems, if you must know. They're all about Ursula's dreams, and there's a line about that stuff. Egregor and predicting the future. 
I thought it might help with Jade's work, but I don't know. They're just poems. I think it's a good idea. Texting her. Every little bit helps. You think so? I do. Oh, but be sure to tell Omar too. This is right up his alley. Please, Polly dear, leave Omar out of this. He'll figure it all out eventually. Now, Jade and Nora, <laughs> that's where the fun's at. I want to know more about this burgeoning friendship we've got on our hands. And by the look on your face, I'm not the only one. chat with Omar, I guess. Yes. We need to tell him about the Agrega. All the dream stuff. Hopefully it'll help. Sounds like a plan, Nora. Despite the circumstances. I'm happy we're doing this together. Also... I'm happy we're doing something good together. Oh no. <laughs> Don't say anything else, please. I know we will find her. I know. Despite our relationship, I want to get her back. I know. Let me talk to Omar. This'll cheer him up. already? Not exactly. Would you look at that? The old man actually came out ahead. I just wrapped these up. Poems, of course. All about family. Our family? I'd say so. Your mother was... is... many things, but subtle, no. There's one about relationships, the push and pull of the family unit. Your mother as a young girl thinking of her future. And the second, uh, well, uh, that one's about a lost love, one she can only find in dreams, unless the gods will it, whatever that means. That doesn't bother you, her talking about love like that. Like, something out of reach. Look, your mother's never been a one-man woman. <laughs> she, she was always crystal clear about that. And uh, I love her for that as well. She and Nora... Both help me to understand that love doesn't bind or restrain. But in here, she mentions a presence so strong it can be seen in every line. 
Every word. Isn't there a third sheet with another poem? I don't think so. Just these two. Actually, I'm a, I think there was a third. Well, unless I dropped it. No, no, there was definitely a final poem. Oh, but hey, look at these two. Uh, this one talks about a bunch of places we've been to on holiday. The Duquesa Islands, the ferry boat to Magdalena. And this one about a secret lover. <laughs> she wouldn't hide that sort of thing from me. Yes. That's interesting. Helpful. reading your mother's innermost thoughts. It's a lot. The secrets in this family, huh? For better or worse, is funny. What is? I always thought my mother was in love with her art. And that's why we were so far apart. Distant, almost. Did... Did she... Did she ever mention you? Yeah. That's my question. No. Never. That doesn't seem to surprise you. I'm here to find my mother. Because she means something to me. To my family. And to some people on this island. No matter who she actually is, when we're together, in the same room. Mmm. Nice one. Might have enough time to check on Nora. How about it, huh? Come on, hop hop. You're here to uncover the truth, not get lost down memory lane. You took your time. Oh, there's so much in here. Poetry, of course. The very precise descriptions of rituals and cultural artifacts even I've never heard of. I don't 
don't know how she came up with half the knowledge there is in this. Come on. Time to compare notes. Hopefully something in here will point us in the right direction. Why don't you start? Well, your mother remains as mysterious as ever, I can tell you that for free. My sections were all about love. Love for us, our family, but also for someone else in... in a faraway land. Totally inaccessible somehow. making sense of that. No, no, no. That does make sense. Here, look. In my sections too, there's talk of a reunion with this faraway land. And another being. The story reminds me of various myths, and many cosmogenies start with the reattachment of a split soul. Ursula seemed obsessed with this ritual. This idea of becoming whole. Which... It all reminds me of the Oxion belief in realm crossing. And the prescience. They wrote extensively on the subject. They said, by using the holy Ica, the prescience could transcend this plane and access another. How's a bunch of fairy tales going to help us, hmm? Not fairy tales. These were literal beliefs. This sacred liquid. They called it Egregor. Pools of it were said to exist across Athena. Egregor? Jade talked about that. And look, my section mentions Egregor too. Prescient. The Oxions believed that there were those who could see the future literally see it laid out before them. And the Egregor would enhance their abilities. Last time I saw Ursula, she mentioned them. I didn't think it was relevant to all this. But now... You said this Egregor stuff was just... Uh, lying around the island? Yes. No. The sacred pools were said to be well hidden. We... We talked about trying to find them, but... MK has laid claim to every inch of Atina. see it before. I believe there's a very real chance Ursula went to find a prescient ritual site. A crossover point.
We're all a little tired, I think. Big afternoon. But... Omar, what were you and Ursula doing? Really doing? I told you. She'd come to me and we'd talk about Oxion culture. Language. Symbols. But there's more to it than that, right? Look, you know a lot about us now. Probably too much, even. But we don't know anything about you. Not really. And trust goes both ways. <laughs> Very much, Harmony. Very much. Palms open, weapons down. This is all about shaking hands. Ha! utterly insane that both of us were it's okay we're listening the Ursa and I weren't just talking over dusty books and manuscripts <laughs> knew it we were but we thought we wanted to recreate the Oxion rituals we wanted to cross between realms They're very real instructions for highly complex procedures. Rigorous. Almost scientifically so. Ursula seemed to know more than she was saying. Called the other realm, Reverie. Like she knew the place. And we'd already performed the basic rituals, and we saw results. No realm crossing, but, th but there were lights. A glow. We were getting close. And she convinced me. Convinced me there was another world out there. Just beyond the veil. Waiting for us. Ursula spoke of a missing component. She... When you told me she disappeared, I... I wasn't entirely surprised, but... You mean you had us wasting time with these poems for nothing? You lied? I was just... trying to help. mention a few different Oxion ritual sites. Few of them seem to relate back to this mystery love of hers. We can narrow down those locations even further if we only look at those associated with the prescience. If Ursula did leave to find one of these sites, it's almost certainly a temple. Most of them are underground. Underground? Even in their heyday, there were those who thought certain rituals profane. Well, pro, 
most of Atina's archaeological sites are pretty well documented. Con, it's because they're all owned by MK. I've tried for years to get access to even a minor site. Nada. Completely off limits. So, everything Ursula wrote suggests you went on some sort of personal quest to cross between realms and find her love. And she needed an Oxion temple to get there. Exactly. So the big question is, did she find a way to get into that temple? Or did something get to her before she could? This much, Jade's investigation into MK and Ursula's disappearance are related. That's something. Yes, that's something. <sighs> Sorry. So why aren't we asking her for help? Jade, I mean. She said she was willing. And I'm sure if she helped us, we'd help her. Mutually assured reconstruction. I... That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That could work. Jade. Jade Galea. You're friends with her? S sort of. Friends with Atina's most well-known activist. Impressive. Okay. Okay. We have a plan. Now that's a real plan. I'm gonna go to the skate park, like, right now. This is too important for online messaging. It's all monitored by MK anyway. Safer this way. Hey, just take care. Watch yourself out there. All right, Grandpa. It's the skate park, not a war zone. Anyway. Good luck, Nora. I'll be careful.
We are looking for a temple. Yes, I think we got that. All the underground temples on Atina are under MK's jurisdiction. Locked down. For preservation purposes. What a load of horseshit. That damn company will be the death of this island. The locations themselves are secret. They don't really want anyone near them. But look here. Atina's rich archaeological history is safe in the hands of our very own urban planning department. And there's a contact number. Well, that's worth a shot, surely. So, should I give them a call? Laszlo, I'm a bit out of the loop when it comes to MK. What would you suggest? That damn corporation only cares about its own interests. And if you can't beat them, join them. Pose as an MK employee. If they're going to help anyone, they're going to help themselves. They've been talking about putting the Oxion sites to use for years now. For tourism, you know? Heritage sites. And I saw they were partnering with the university, too. Lots to learn from those ruins. Yes, this is the best way. Strike where they're weak. Say and do whatever you must to seize the reins. You're in charge. Make them believe it. I'm afraid my allegiance lies with the scholar. This capitalist cabal takes an aggressive view of intrusions. Zero tolerance, in fact. Perhaps there is a less violent approach. Whether or not this works, I guess it'll keep you off MK's radar. For now, the less they know, the better. We don't want anything happening to you. Planning department, this is Yana Sayavong speaking. Oh shit. I mean, hello. Um, hi, this is Urban Planning. Can I help you? Wait, Polly, is that you? That is you. Polly is Yana from high school. Oh my god.
Think fast, but think carefully. Forge bravely ahead. You already know the path you must take. Stay true to yourself and your instincts. They will serve you well. You have me confused with someone else. No, come on. That's definitely you. Are you serious? I'm afraid so. Sorry. Oh, okay. You're the spitting image of... I have a very generic Athena face. That's what everybody says. Never mind. How can I help you today? This is, um, Alexina, over at the MK Southern campus. Oh, hi. Hi. Alexina, was it? You knew. Don't think I've heard of an Alexina at Southern before. Well, here I am. Okay. Which department? I'm with Corporate Partnerships. We're currently working with the university on a grant program. Oh yes, I heard about that. That's great. Last I heard, it was getting some friction from upstairs. All signed and sealed. Well, congratulations. How can I help? As part of our planning, um, we're looking to identify all the Oxion cultural sites on the island um, as possible areas for research. Of course. There's so much we can learn from them. Exactly. But I, I really need the latest map of all the sites, um, if that's okay. Absolutely. Let me just email that over to you. What's your MK address?
I need the entire map, you know. We're looking for an especially remarkable site. One that would really make an impression. Well, we've got a lot of those. Could you be more specific? A temple? Yeah, an Oxian temple would be best, I think. university was looking for dig sites. In fact, I'm sure they were. What did you say your title was again? Well, it's, um... Because I just checked to see if there's an Alexina at partnerships, and there is not. And this would not be the first time someone's tried to get classified information from me by posing as an MK employee. Oh, no! That, um, must be so annoying. And I would have thought working with the university would already give you access to the information you're requesting. site that even slightly matches your information is directly under Monoconcern HQ, and it's currently being restored. It's off limits to everyone except the specialist team. <sighs> Unless there's anything else? No. No, you've been very helpful. Thank you. That was a mess of massive proportions. <laughs> An absolute delight. A thousand thank yous, my dear. I haven't laughed like that in an age. And you got your information too. <laughs> Everybody wins. MK headquarters? How did this happen? Hey, um, hi, Polly. Thought we could use all the help we could get. So, first, the good news. 
We know where Ursula is. Where she might be. Well, yes. Second, the bad news. We need to act. Even if it means heading to MKHQ. Which is, yeah, a lot. But where to start? Well, we've got a crew at least. That's a start. You lot aren't exactly hardcore resistance fighters, but I've seen worse. I already said I'm all in, if that helps. We're here too, you know. We will aid you in any way we can. The closer you come to your goal, the more egregor you acquire. The more power we have available to penetrate Chaos's hiding place. All right then, let's hear your ideas. There are no wrong answers. Connections. What kind of connections? People. People who can get us through New Elysia. Straight to the tower. Safely. Quietly. That's very convenient. It's too early to promise anything, and... I don't want to involve my people before I know I can trust you. All of you. Wait. <laughs> trust us? I don't know you. Not really. I know your mother, Polly. And I know her intentions are good. But... There are a lot of new faces here. And trust is earned. Not given. No offense. None taken, I think. Hard to commit to a plan we know nothing about, though. I've always looked at these things like jazz. We agree on a harmony. We write the chords, then we jam. From beginning to end, until everybody's played their part. I can get us through New Elysia into MK Tower. From there, well, all Jads needs a little improv. He's right. What's inside those ruins is a mystery. We have a plan to get in. You're welcome. And we need a plan to get out. Got that covered. These are good contacts. So, if we do this, we're going to have to trust you, even though you don't trust us. Look, I like you. All of you. As much as I can after, what, a few hours? But Ursula's a vital part of my research. And she's my friend. I'm here for her. You can trust me on that.
Everything you've told us is true, and if your relationship with my mother is what you say it is, then sure, I'm inclined to trust you. That's a run up to a but. But? I appreciate the honesty, but you straight up saying we're the weak link in a chain of trust here? Ouch. All right then, hit me. What do you want to know that I haven't told you already? Let's start with what you were researching, with Ursula. What's so secret about it? Ah, the direct hit. The one question I can't answer. I've told you as much as I can. As for the rest, well, I need Ursula's consent. And if the rest was valuable information, that'd save us all a lot of trouble? Consent's consent. What can I say? Loyalty's important to me. Sorry. have to do, I guess. Hope you know why I had to ask. I do. Of course. something and it's no no it's nothing tell her it's a proper plan and I know all about proper plans okay well back when it first opened I took a tour of MK Tower done it myself scouting bloody awful experience it was, but the guide made a point of telling us all about the area, how the tower was built. The, um, foundations. Foundations? The temple. Even pointed out which door led down there. The plan is to book a tour and sneak away. Take a trip downstairs. No. What? No, that's absurd. You'll be caught, arrested, guaranteed. I have to admit, it's a lot. When did anyone manage to change things, really change things, without taking a few risks? All this is the tip of something. A conspiracy, the end of society, whatever. And Ursula's our way in. We need to save her for her sake. But in the end, she's... She's just... A drop. A drop in an ocean of oppression and violence. MK must be stopped. It's about more than just us today. More than just the here and now.
some friends and ask them to create a diversion. Ah, a classic. Use that one a bunch of times. Nine times out of ten works like a charm. And the one time it doesn't? I think you can still see the scar. Look. With enough people outside, we can keep security busy while we sneak in and save Ursula. Or you might attract every renter cop in the place, trapping you inside. Lots of unknowns. Agreed. Stirring up trouble isn't the way forward. Polly? I agree with Omar and Laszlo. It's risky. Oh, come on. But a bad plan with good timing might just be what we need. MK will never see us coming. They'll be occupied. But a bad idea with no safety net. It's all or nothing. Nothing means... Well, that's it. I'm not saying no. At this point, we can't afford to reject any options. And I trust Jade and Nora. At least someone does. Let's go. I'll... I'll make up my mind on the way. Keep a low profile. Everything's going to be all right. A complex situation. True. Guess that's how you got your name, huh? Do not be blinded by pride. Face the reality of the task ahead. I'm trying. You must all come together. Seek cohesion through communion. We have a plan. You have a seed of an idea. You need to come up with a plan. Not helping. There's no time for doubt, only for action. Decisive action, Polly. Seize the moment. This, you're not helping any of you. Then you are not listening. How can I when you're each trying to send me down different paths towards different outcomes? Polly? You all right? Hey. Stress gets to the best of us, mate. Just try not to stumble about like him. Like a sleepwalker. Fine. I'm fine. Thinking. This is it. Up to you now, Polly. What's it going to be?
We need to find Ursula, but not at the expense of our own safety. Polly? It's not a matter of better or worse. It's a matter of self-preservation. I'll contact my guy. This is absurd. Come on, you know it is. Nora, sweetie. But... Time to go. We're only making this more difficult for Bolly. I'll be fine, and I'll be back soon, with Ursula. So, this contact... to you. You didn't mention... Keep walking. Understood? I'll go. You follow. Ten seconds behind.
dancing from here. God. Did I... Have I made a mistake? Maybe. Or maybe not. I'm not a big believer in preordination. Too... Predictable. I... I can't stay here. Paranoia, lust. All it needs is a little push, and the whole system would descend into. <laughs> well. You know. <laughs> and now, here you are, the proverbial spanner in the works. Granted, a spanner with an irrational fear of forcibly applied talk. What are you talking about? Like it or not, my dear, you're my agent now. The unknown variable. The gremlin on the wing. Feels good, doesn't it? my doubts good like I said trust is earned look one of my old suppliers MK swallowed up his book repo when he got drafted as a technician now well we help each other out Me, then what's the plan yes take the initiative remind him who really holds the power here you're not going to like it tell me we just walk in pretend to be workers part of the excavation team you're not serious have I ever joked with you before Let's go. down here? Definitely. I had my doubts, but your call with your friend confirmed it. They're not my friend. Huh. Well, good to know. I mean, good to know you're not in bed with the enemy. Forget it. Look, you should go. 
You're not coming. Look, we need to split up. Cover more ground than... And... It's... something my contact said. I want to make sure he's safe. Distance from all this. Quite well. I am. My mind was drifting and. This one. They are important to you? They. could be. I haven't seen them in. so long. Forgotten feelings. talking to you. You mean I can't be seen talking to you? Either way, we're in trouble. I concur. The temple's right behind this door. Thanks for the help. Again. Question. Do you remember your yearbook quote? I was so sure it was you on that call, I had to look it up. You 
do, don't you? Honesty is the best policy. You have to understand. I need to find my mother, and you... you work for... The enemy. Yes, I know. We've spoken twice in the last 24 hours, and twice you've shoved that in my face. You left. You don't know what it's like on Athena. I didn't have a choice. Yana! I say, those were fighting words. Give them the old one-two punch right where it hurts. Guilt and shame. No. Oh, come on. Throw some salt on those wounds. You know they're there. I could sound the alarm. I should sound the alarm. But you won't. Whatever you're doing all this for, whatever reason you've got, whatever your goal is, it must be important. I know that much, even now. Thank you, Yana. See the dreams that one's having. Vivid. You're doing? Maybe, maybe not. Inscrutability is the key to my charm, you know. Waking up, Polly. What did you... How D did you... I... I'm sorry, but... Uh, I thought I could solve this without any of you getting hurt. Did you find her like this? I did. I... I... I infiltrated the building on my own. Had to force my way in, but... <sighs> Wait. Look! Hey. Hey there. 
I'm fine. I just need a second. Oh, look at them. How touching. Young love, isn't it sweet? Not if MK catches us. Oh, I don't know. Your man here's a fighter. Lovely obliques. Wouldn't that be a sight to see? I know you're behind this. And sooner or later, I'll find out why. Laszlo, we need to go. Can you... Carry her? Yes, of course. A lot of explaining to do. Being lectured by my own daughter. Truly, how delightful. Don't start with the sarcasm. After everything we just did, you have no right. A fair point. Although I must say, I didn't ask for your assistance. What were you doing? Where were you? Why didn't you leave a note or a letter or something? I... I don't have the answers you're looking for. How can that possibly be true? I need time. It has been a frightfully stressful day and I want to... I need to sleep some things off. Please, darling. I'm tired. Let's go inside. So, you found your mother at last. Impressive. I'm sure you are simply thrilled to have her back. Of course I am. I mean, she was never the easiest person to get on with, but... I'm glad for Laszlo and Nora. The stress was killing them. The time has come to track down our missing sibling. We will need them to pry glory from her little stronghold. Chaos. And I'm sure the others have lingering questions as well on the subject of my shattering.
With the egregor you found, you are ready to enter Chaos's maze. Be brave. You will face many truths amongst those pathways, some exceedingly unpleasant. I'm ready. Brava, dearie, brava! Fancy seeing you here. Y you and my mother. What can I say? I'm a card. <laughs> How? Why? Why? Because we fell in love. As a matter of fact, she seduced me. <laughs> I wanted to remain aloof, unattainable. But your mother, whew, she has her ways. <laughs> what, did you think I bewitched her? Cast an evil love spell? <laughs> well, no, dearie. Sorry to disappoint. So why then? Why did you imprison truth? To end the Age of Glory. The others wouldn't exactly have approved of my methods, and without truth, they were blind to my little scheme. Ursula chose me as the new reigning aspiration, but we were robbed of the chance to follow through. I'm afraid the glorious Age of Chaos is on the back burner at the moment. The priority now is simply to end Glory's reign. A mortal construct has its hooks in Glory, and deeply. One with which you are fast becoming familiar. Rhymes with Fono Sunburn. I'm sorry, was that too easy? Would you rather answer my riddles three? Absolutely not. What do you call an aspiration without a Gregor? No riddles, please. The answer is desperate harmony. Desperate. Oh, would you look at the time? 
I really must be going. Toodles! I feel so stupid. So do I. But what else could we have done? To be honest, Polly, it just reminds me of your mum going away when you were a kid. And even before that. When you were young, your mum always disappeared for a reason, and she'd always be back. With help, or money, or something useful. I didn't bother to look for her back in the day. N knew she'd be back when she was ready. But this time... felt different. Made me nervous. Let's just try to eat. We can't avoid her forever. You go. I'm not sure how I'd react to her right now. That's fair. I don't want to say anything I'll regret. I have all these questions, but I don't know if I really want the answers. Yeah. Tell me about it. I'm going to try and talk to her. Good luck. What is it, Polyhymnia? so many questions. 
so many old wounds you'd like to reopen. I will tell the truth, my truth, although there are certain things I'd like to keep to myself. For example, chaos? Ah, so they told you. Not exactly surprising, but inconvenient. My love for chaos is indeed a forbidden topic. It's too fresh, too strong to put into words. You may be Reverie's new oracle, but you're still my daughter. I suppose they told you about Gloria's little dalliance with Monoconcern, too. How did you... No. Well, that started before I was cast out. Back then it was a minor issue, but now... Now it is everything. She'll surprise you too. I'm sorry to have scared all of you. Call it abandonment if you must, but I did not intend to come back. Do you really think I went to MKHQ on a whim? to stop them. I wanted to use their technology to return to Reverie for good. And to break the connection they fostered with glory. Did you find any leads? I did not have enough time. I need not remind you of the interruption. But I'm quite certain of MK's involvement. Their courtship of Reverie must end. The partnership with Glory has already given too much power to Monoconcern. They managed to reach out to Glory, thanks to a substance and some people. Part of Atina's population has always been able to see the future. It was a gift from the aspirations to our island. This ability is enhanced by a substance called a Gregor. MK found out. They modified Egregor to make it even more potent. And they started conducting tests on people to see if they would respond to it. These subjects, the prescients, became vessels. They could speak Glory's words to MK. 
This has been going on for a few years. And as a result, MK's power has grown. How do you stop a company that receives help from a guard? You can't. begun to communicate with Glory, but it would be some time before I understood how. Athena's prescience are usually unable to communicate directly with aspirations. They can only do so because of MK's modified egregor. And, for quite a while, I had no idea such a substance existed. This new Egregor, what does modified mean here? In all honesty, I still don't know. It's more potent, that's for sure. Concentrated. It appears to have had an effect on Glory. She was never one for solitude, but now she's locked herself away in that pyramid of hers. Or... Something's trapped her there. When I met Jade, she mentioned medical tests, MK and Egregor, and I could guess what they'd been up to. But that's the extent of my knowledge. I have been trying to return to Reverie for the past 20 years. I knew that it was in danger, that it needed me, and now that I could communicate with it again. I cooperated with MK, hoping to find a way to return to Reverie and to free Glory from their grasp. I know how it sounds. I can hear myself and I'm not proud. After several weeks, I realized how wrong I was. The prescience. The modified Egregor was doing something to them. So I decided to escape to Reverie. From there, I thought I could... I was so close to success when you interrupted. about her so much. I expected her to be different, I guess. She's so tired. You don't understand. She's taken on an enormous task. It's exhausting to fight such injustice, especially for one so young. Every time we met, she looked more and more fatigued. Her mental health was suffering. Some of her friends enrolled in a medical program meant to provide assistance to lower-income residents. MK targeting the vulnerable, in other words. They came back badly hurt, and it raised questions Jade could not ignore. Jade has more than one reason to be depressed. Nora's very fond of her. I'm not surprised. It's good that the two of them have been able to connect.
underestimate the amount of data MK has on the residents of Atina. It would follow that they use this data to select targets and appeal to them accordingly. I hope they'll leave her alone. selfish and the plan was absurd but it almost worked and if it had this whole island would be rid of MK by now you would all have been better off for me it was a one-way ticket to reverie but what is one life when you're acting for the benefit of thousands other matters to discuss. have anything to do with reverie? Of course. I had a great deal of unfinished business there. And I loved being the Oracle. I loved it as much as I loved being a poet. someone can understand now.
were for other people. I moved by instinct. never end well for humans playing God, and they did not end well for me. Chaos deserved better. They deserved a chance to become the heart, and I let my emotions cloud my judgment. We did everything we could to be together. to beat around the bush. They must have told you. I was cast out. Chaos and I broke their rules and made quite a mess in our effort to go undetected. They caught you? We were reckless. At the time, most of the aspirations also liked Glory. They didn't approve of me growing apart from her and from the heart. They had no suspicions about MK at all. Someone who was interrupted in the middle of a very successful plan. Mother. I understand you were worried, but I told you I missed Reverie, had plans for it, and did not want to be pursued. My other feelings are none of your concern. intended to return to Reverie to make amends, to ask them to forgive me. When I was cast out, I felt like I had lost everything, and that never quite faded away. But right now, Reverie needs to be saved. MK has tightened its hold on Reverie. I'm worried about glory. And yes, I did want to be reunited with Chaos. That, I acknowledge, may sound silly to you, but it isn't to me. I'm not asking you to understand or even to respect it. of course, and I expect you've received some information you hardly know how to handle. I will explain in greater detail, but I ask that you don't interrupt me for the time being. Shortly before I was made to leave Reverie, MK managed to locate an access point to Reverie. At the time, I had no clue how they had done it. Glory didn't see an issue. Quite the contrary, in fact. 
She had brought so much progress to humanity, she thought the two worlds merging was the natural next step. So, she began to help them. Glory acted as the most potent influencing tool you can imagine. She made people want more, always more. She predicted the future and swayed their dreams. I already hated MK. They were turning Atina into some kind of grotesque amusement park. It was all about expensive products, new technologies, influence and appearances. They raise the cost of everything, while their employees struggle to survive on minimum wage. And now, they own half of Atina. They have direct control of entertainment and advertisements, so we are under their thumb. People give them money, labor, opportunity. All MK offers in return is an illusion. Monoconcern sells them a dream at an impossible price. That they can one day reach the life they aspire to, a life filled with leisure and success. A life where they will be wanted. A life with meaning and purpose. But in reality, this success is only to be enjoyed by a few. The rest of us are condemned to inadequacy. Condemned to work and push forward, only to realize we'll never be enough. Never reach the dream dangling like a carrot on a stick, because it does not exist. And now MK cannot be stopped. I know they corrupted Glory. And while Glory is in power, people cannot outgrow that dream. Aspirations send dreams to people. They inspire goals. People won't stop yearning for more while Glory reigns. And now she is little more than MK's puppet. Aspirations are worried about Glory. They can't reach her at all. They're right to worry. I don't know what MK's modified Egregor is doing to her, but she's likely not in good shape. No matter what you'll do next, Polyhymnia, I must warn you, I aim to continue with my plan. I want Glory deposed, and I want M.K. out of reverie. with her harmony. Your mother is a human playing God. She and Chaos threaten the very balance of reverie. And now look at us. Uneven. Discordant. I forgive Chaos for imprisoning me. It is their nature. But to see how little our former oracle has changed, it saddens me.
truth is certainly hoping you don't turn out to be a copy of your mother. Understand. I'd have been gutted to be cut out of Reverie. I mean, it's much more fun here, and Ursula loved us. But she didn't think about us. We starved without an oracle to bring us a Gregor. And no a Gregor means we're half the aspirations we used to be, Sprout. It sucks, though. But I feel sorry for her. Do you think I have no self-awareness? I know I was selfish. But I felt like I had lost everything. I didn't think I'd refuse to let go of my ties to Reverie. But I did. think your mother is selfish harmony but her intentions are noble she wants the best for all of our futures I don't think I've ever met an oracle so keen on helping reverie and brittle your mother wanted us all to work together for the greater good but her long-term vision required short-term sacrifices. Bond was always very dear to my heart. I am glad to hear even an echo of his voice again. Probably don't care whether or not we forgive you, but I do. I do forgive you. 
even if you don't deserve it. I do care. At least my time at MK HQ gave me an idea of what to do next. I'm not ready to share it yet. We'll discuss it tomorrow. After what you did, I'm certain MK knows we're on to them. Get ready, Polyhymnia. You probably won't need to keep your secrets much longer. We're going to need all the help we can muster. You've changed. You've become an adult. A grown woman. You saw on the Orgrul that the conversation could go this way, and you chose this path. You chose to challenge me. I'm quite impressed. You've set foot on a cosmic path, but you've only just begun. And now you know you have an enemy to face to preserve reverie and brittle. How you accomplish this is up to you alone. I have my own ideas about how to proceed. I'd like us to work together. But again, that's up to you. Listen, I don't have long. What happened at the ruins? It's causing a stir. A big one. MK's going to strike back. If so, we're ready. No, Polly, you don't understand. They're out for blood. For real. Do they know about our connection? I don't think so. I managed to delete our last conversation, and they don't have any reason to suspect me. MK wasn't always like this. They're a huge corp, but they had systems in place to protect civilians. What's well, changed then? Because look around. Look at what's happening. 
People have good reason to hate them. A few years ago, they started pouring a ton of money and energy into the Oxian ruins, like they were steering the ship in a new direction. And MK's a big ship. You can't turn it around in one night. They call it Project Loom. Hmm. Okay, not the reaction I was expecting. Did you know about this? I might have had an inkling. Don't ask. Seriously. Well, whatever you did down there in the temple... It's messed with their plans. I needed to warn you now because I can't be seen here. I can't see you. Not for now. I need to lie low for a while, but I'll try to do as much as I can to help you all from where I am. Thank you, Yana. It means... It means a lot. My mother was right. Glory and MK are working together. I don't have all the details, but it can't be a coincidence. Whatever's happening to my island is because of glory. Has anyone got a camel handy? I just found this lovely straw. She must be found and listened to before we do anything that cannot be undone. We have no idea what is happening in her sanctuary. She may be a prisoner, or she could be manipulating people from beyond reverie. Sounds like someone needs to break into that little sanctuary of hers. Don't be stupid. That's impossible. Power, I want to hear your plan. If you have one. I always have one. We need to face our enemy and protect Glory. Hurting her would be a grave mistake. Bless? Ooh, I don't know. Honestly, Glory has made some pretty terrible decisions in the past. She's the whole reason we're in this mess. Can we help her? I mean, really? What if it all goes wrong and, and you get hurt? You're our best chance of finding a way out of this in ages. Something on your mind? I do not believe Glory is responsible. Perhaps she was, at first. But there is almost a parasitic relationship between her and Monoconcern. There is a barrier around her sanctuary that would stop even the Oracle from entering. She is unable to think clearly or act properly. Sometimes, to save someone, you must go against their will. No, we can't. 
We can't hurt Glory. There are ways to sever the link between Glory and this company. That is how we will solve the situation. Hark at you lot! So scared! Not a single one of you wants to bang the drums of war, do you? Whatever's coming, it's coming in hot and fast. All this prattle solves nothing. I... I need time to think this through. Well, when you feel like actually doing something, do let me know. Uh, I'll be back. Is everything all right? You seem... Yana came by. They say MK's out for blood. Their words. And strong words they are. I think perhaps it's time. No more secrets. No more hiding. Are you comfortable sharing everything? Here. Now. I... We... have something we need to discuss today. I know that's a lot to take in, and I'm sorry I hid it all from some of you. But there's an emergency. One of the aspirations, Glory, is trapped. We need to save her. We don't have all the facts, but we think MK's been using her powers. To look into the future, all possible futures, and to grow strong, rich. They had all the power in the world, and they chose greed, suffering. We need to move on them. The company and the aspiration are linked, one way or another. With enough energy, enough egregor, we can blast our way into Glory's sanctuary, for want of a better term. I will admit the prescience may be affected by this release of energy. Needless to say, it will be a very delicate operation, and it will require organization. Whatever's going on in your head, whatever happened in the ruins, I don't believe a word of this. Let's imagine the last hour wasn't everyone losing their collective mind. Let's say you're right, and everything you've told us is true. What exactly are we going to do? From what I've gathered, the prescience collect and attract a certain type of energy. 
We want to change where the energy is directed. It might be difficult since they've been trained to do it a certain way again and again. What do you mean, difficult? Will it hurt them? Potentially. So, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs, huh? Sacrifice the few for the many, blah, blah, blah. No, we're going to act, all of us, together. We need everybody's help. My investigation is ready to go live. If we push it out today, we could change the way this island sees MK. That would undoubtedly make a difference. But will it be enough? It's still playing by their rules. I've done that many, many times. It's time for something different. Something riskier and... I'm sorry. My intention wasn't to make you uncomfortable, I just... I need a minute. How are you feeling? I've been grappling with this knowledge my entire life, you know. And today, for the first time, it felt good to have someone on my side. Not just knowing, but acting. But I regret the way I spoke to Jade. She's done so much for this community, and I respect her work. It's just that... I don't want to influence you. I don't want to influence anybody. I'll have a chat with them. Don't wander off, okay? A family meeting. Not your average tete-a-tete, -tete, no. How's it all sitting with you? Strangely. I'm not surprised, I don't think. Appeased, maybe. Your mother and I have always been very truthful with each other. She has her life, and I have mine. This... explains a lot. Still stings, though. For the record, I'm sorry I couldn't say anything. I wanted to. You have no idea how much I wanted to. Oh no, it's not your fault. It's foolish, really. Just... Uh, <laughs> a whole side to your mother I never knew. I was watching her face while you were laying everything out. There was a joy there. A sparkle in her eyes I, I haven't seen since... Well... 
Made me a little sad, is all. That I can't be part of it. That side of her. Oh, Laszlo. Now comes the hard part, of course. I can't help but think Jade has the right of it. Her investigation is the push this community needs. It'll open people's eyes, get things going. But... You're going to follow Ursula. I've known your mother longer than I've known almost anyone. Every time I've seen her like this, with this much determination, she was right. Every single time. I can't say I understand everything that's going on. Uh, dimensions, otherworldly beings, oracles. But I know MK has ground this island to dust. If Ursula says she knows how to fix that, well, I trust her. I love her. Look at me. I should be the one asking after you. All of this seems like a lot, Polly. It is, but I'm getting the hang of it. It's all a bit mind-blowing. The whole shaping the fate of the world thing is daunting. But it's like trying to picture winning the lottery, you know? Impossible to actually comprehend. I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. Trust in those around me and make the best choices I can. I know you'll do us proud. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to have a chat with your mother. Make the best choice I can. Split between love and his own morality. True. Not an envious position, but he bears it well. You are lucky to have someone like him, Harmony. This kind are all too rare these days. Ready to talk? Talk? That's what we're gonna do after all that. Talk. Her mind's blown. Well and truly blown. Can't exactly blame her, can you? If I found out there was another world beyond Brittle and Reverie, well. My mind would probably be blown too. Yeah. That was a proper coming of age scene back there. Even for me. I'm so tired, Nora. Not as much as Jade, maybe. But I am tired. I just want to crawl under a blanket and sleep forever. But you can't. No. I can't. Because the stakes are too high for that. And it's all true. Every single word. Reverie. The aspirations. Polly the Oracle. And Ursula knew? All this time? It looks like it. So you lied to me. Both of you. No, no. We, we couldn't just blurt it all out to anyone. It wasn't the right time. And when would the right time have been? After Ursula killed herself? What if something happened to you at MKHQ? 
Nora, I'm... I didn't think about... You're right. Of course you are. I know we've been apart for a while, but I'm still me. I just... I wish you'd known. You could trust me. I'm sorry. I know. It's just... It's a lot. It's a lot. Using the prescience is a mistake. I'm with Jade on that. Because... Because she's standing up for what's right, but also because... I... can... feel... something inside me. You know that MK job I told you about? That, that was connected to that feeling. Prescient. I don't know. I don't know what that would even feel like. I'm scared, Paul. It's okay. I am too. Polly. Reverie? Aspirations? A, a guy called Bond? Yes, it's a lot. Not as much as your mother's unhinged plan, though. Cold. Frozen, even. She's drained from all this, and now she has seen the crossroads ahead. I admire her her loyalty to her own beliefs. What you've done with your investigation is incredible. Seriously. But... No but. For real. Your mother's going to hurt people. People from the community. Friends. She's using MK's own tactics against them. That goes against everything I believe in. Everything. MK's been hurting people for their own gain. They've bribed every official on this island to keep it quiet. It has to end. And it won't if we have to become them to stop them. If you back your mother's plan, I'm out. I can't do it, Polly. I just can't. I understand. I do, truly. This whole ordeal has been like turning a mirror on my own convictions. I have to pick a side. You always have to pick a side, Polly. Always. And I've picked mine. Did you get all of that? Every single 
word. <laughs> Amazing. It's all true, Polly. Everything the Oxyons believed in. I've noticed. It's like waking up and being told all of your imaginary friends are real. Her words, your stories, they're connected to so much Oxyon writing. But all of that is for later. Right now, well, I guess you have a choice ahead of you. Oracle. I don't feel much like an oracle. All I see are bits and pieces. Potential footpaths, not roads. That's more than the rest of us. It is going to be crucial for what's ahead. But more importantly, how are you? Relieved. Keeping it all from everyone was... rough. But you had to. Of course you had to. And I'm happy you thought to include me, as a confidant. Oh, Ma. I know you're new around here, but you're a part of this. And I'm happy to have you here. So, I need to know where you're at. Which way you're leaning with all this. Yes. Monoconcern. Aspirations. This... glory. MK is a poison. Or the consequence of a poison. The unchecked capitalism that it embodies is... a death knell. Exponential growth is a myth. Eventually someone will feel the strain, and it won't be the executives. to be stopped. They must be stopped. First it was Atina. Now they've set their sights on the world. I have every respect for Jade and her work. She's brilliant, in a way. But we can't play by their rules. We've tried, and it does not work. To change the system, we need to destroy it. Ursula's plan is the most direct path to that end. But... My mother's idea is risky. People could get hurt. People could die. We're talking about a revolution, Polly. And all revolutions have a price. Sometimes it's paid in suffering. speaks his mind, and the truth. You agree with him? We stand on the cusp of a new era. Cohesion, connection, community. Sometimes, the simplest methods are the best ones. It looks like we agree, Harmony. Two plans. Two completely opposing views. Nothing good can come of this mess, Harmony. Nothing. Nothing. I've been chosen to make decisions. One way or another, in my world, or yours. If you take a side, this gathering of friends and family can only break further. We 
You can't afford to stand still. MK's getting ready to move against us, and... Glory is trapped, or at the very least, under their influence. So, what will you do? I'll pick a side. I've made up my mind. And I think Jade's plan is the strongest. The strongest and also the safest. We can't count on Reverie to save our island. We should be the ones making a difference. It feels good to be listened to. And understood. It feels... soothing even. your Kuru like it was your first meal in a week. I was starving. You okay, Jade? Too stressed to eat. Haven't had an appetite for a while now. I'm sorry if I um, was inconsiderate or anything. It's fine. People react to stress differently. My investigation, all the time I've spent on it, it's weighing me down. But I feel like there's a way out now, thanks to you. I need your help, again. Something big. Go on. Your friend, Yana. Nora's been telling me you two are close. We... Yes. If we get them on board, it could really help. I mean, my investigation's ready to go out, but Yana's support would spread it further, make it more credible. I get it. It means we need to fill them in on everything, right? It's up to you. We don't want to force you to do it, if you don't want to. Yana deserves to know. I can talk to them. It's a risk, but it's worth it. They did warn me about MK, after all. We can trust them.
Yana's on their way. Might be awkward with Jade. Maybe. Uh, step back a bit, maybe. Uh, give me some time to talk to them. Alone. If you say so. Hey, Polly? Yeah? Do you think Ursula's ever gonna forgive us for this? If we make it work, yes. She'll see why we picked this plan over hers. of the earth. Uh, yes. But perhaps not as strong as you, Harmony. Remember that. <laughs> Can't keep away, eh? Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> You have brought company. Jade Galea. Enemy number one back at HQ. Wanted posters plastering the walls. Reward for information. Stuff like that. Worse, actually. How can I help? Things are getting more complicated. They are. And I need to tell you the whole story. It's a story you've got there. It's a lot to take in. Yes and no. Remember Project Loom? No wonder you already knew. Thanks to Jade's work, we think we can spark change from within MK. We wanted to warn you, and... Ask if you had anything we could use. Without hurting you, obviously. We're past that stage, Polly. When I started job hunting, it was MK or nothing. When they hired me, I told myself I was different. That I could change the system from within a mole acting on behalf of common decency? I don't know. Turns out that kind of youthful optimism is built in. The system doesn't just resist it. It expects it. Needs it. That's how they attract the talent. I'll make a difference. I'm not like them. Before you know it, you're trying to rationalize cutting off water to an entire neighborhood. The plan's a solid one, but it's only a first step. MK owns everything. Take them away and what's left? Chaos. Hey. Hey. This isn't against some anarchist code? Breaking bread with an MK automaton? I know the difference between a person and their job. Nice to meet you, Jade. I'm not the only one with doubts about what MK is doing right now. I can check a few things and try to figure out the connection between MK and... Glory. Between MK and Glory. But I need time. We don't have time. The longer we wait, the stronger MK will hit back. If you want my help, I need time. Sorry. Me too. They're right, Jade.
Jade, I think we should accept. Polly, no. No, we can't. It would mean having someone inside MK, collecting information. And what if they catch on? We'll lose everything in an instant. Think about the prescience. Polly. I know what this means to you. Otherwise, I wouldn't have picked your plan in the first place. Hmm. Sorry to butt in, but what's your plan exactly? to make sure they can't get back up. We need to bury them. It's not a wall or a tower, though. It's a tree. Its roots are spread across the whole island, inside and out. We need something radical, or this will all be for nothing. Cut off its head and five more will grow. Someone will take the fall, another daddy's boy will be promoted, and we'll be back to square one. We just need to be thorough. Steady hand on the tiller. We hear you, but slow and steady isn't going to win the race this time. We're on a timer. You aren't the first to try to take MK down, you know? I've seen a whole bunch of grassroots movements come and go with nothing to show for their work but their own shattered lives. This time, it's different. We're different. We have reverie and the aspirations. I know, it's just... It takes a toll, you know? Waiting for change, but always being stood up. It's my first trip back here in five years, and I barely recognize the place. Barely recognize the people. Everything's so quiet. Everybody's muted. And you're right. We have to do something. the sensation. Jade, I believe in Yana. I know they can make a difference. Would you consider accepting their help? If you trust them, so do I. Good. You won't regret it. So, what's your role in the plan, exactly? The less you know, the better. From now on, let's keep things on a need-to-know basis. 
You better get out of here. I'll stay behind to keep an eye on these drones. You two go ahead. I need a moment with Yana. I'll meet you at the skate park, all right? Okay. Hi. Hi. You're taking risks for us. You don't have to. I'm an adult, Polly. I can make my own decisions. If you get into any kind of trouble, come to us, please. Is there room at the Nyads? For you, always. We'll find a place for you. You should get back to your friends. I'll be on my way soon. What's going on? Your presence is needed in reverie. At once, Harmony. What's the matter? Chaos. Chaos is the matter. They won't accept your choices. Look, I'm not out for blood, you know. Whatever's going on in Brittle, you're about to ruin it for us. In Brittle? What are you doing, Chaos? Are we working together or not? You're missing the point, Harmony. And you're acting like an irresponsible fool. Everyone, calm down. Oh, dear. This has all gotten very boring very quickly. Look, I get it. Being decisive is hard, right? But it's okay. I'm going to be decisive for you. Easy there, big boy. You'll see what I'm up to soon enough. You all will. Not I for now.
Oh, bugger. The hard way it is, then. For the mass, I wasn't expecting visitors. Visitors? You brought me here. Ah, oh, yes, well, uh, make yourself at home. What do you want? I don't have time for this. We never talk anymore. Don't you miss when we used to talk? Wait. Honestly, sometimes I think I'm the only one who believes in this relationship. You're stalling. Keeping me here so I can't... Ursula's plan. You're going ahead with Ursula's plan. Oh, you are your mother's daughter, aren't you? Yeah, through the years, she's tried to contact me. Messages provoking signs. All she needed to do was send me her daughter. I won't let you. The prescience. All those people. They could die. Or everyone could be fine, and the bond between this world and yours is severed. Snap! No. The other aspirations will never agree. They'll never give you their egregor. How right you are. But who said they need to give it to me?
Oh, Sprout. It's you. I love her being back, I guess. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. No, that's a lie. Cheapest creepers, kid. It's your mum. She didn't listen. She and Chaos have started that stupid plan of theirs. I thought I had more time. You knew? Had a run-in with Chaos when I arrived. Then you know about Nora, I guess. What about Nora? She's a prescient harmony. Her abilities would have blossomed, but now she's hurt. No. Whatever Chaos and your mum are doing, it's working. But it's sending those poor buggers into fits. We... we have to stop them. Quick, please. You're a Gregor. It's the only way I can enter Glory's domain and stop my mother's plan. Yeah. Yeah! I can do that. Only... Only... I was gonna... What? I can help Nora. Stop her hurting. But for that... You need your Gregor. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Sprout. It's one or the other. No way we can do both. Well, that should do it. What did you do? Athena's covered in protests. Loud, noisy things sucking up all the attention. I slow things down a mind. Gave Jade some breathing room to realize Nora was hiding all that pain. There, yeah, they should be able to head back to the Nyad soon. It's not much, but Nora's in good hands now. Thank you. Oh, go on. You'd have done the same for me. You know, if you were an aspiration. Yes. Very much ahead of you. No, I mean, be careful with them. You're short on time. They won't do you harm. They don't want to hurt you. But chaos is chaos. Expect them to play a few pranks. Noted. Thank you. Good luck. And bring me back something. Something nice.
so bad, you know? Once you punch through the hardened exterior to the gooey mess inside. Leave me alone. Uh, uh, I'm not trying to torment you, dearie. But you must realize Ursula gets results. Consider going with the flow. Fuck off. The truth hurts, as I'm sure you're about to find out. Daddy, bye. For now. I have been expecting you. Come. her plan. Yes, I know. And you oppose this way forward? Of course I do. It's awful. Especially since there's another way. The situation in Brittle grows complex. Your friend Jade cares for the ailing Nora. They talk together of prescience and secrets. She kept her nature from even you. Yes, she did. <laughs> the foolishness of lies. Of course, I am somewhat biased. The question now is Jade's role in all this. She must decide between her duty and her heart. The protests need a leader, a figurehead, someone to lay bare the sins of the corporation. But Nora requires care and companionship. I know what you seek, Egregor, but you must make a choice. Another one? Indeed. I could use my supply to spread Jade's revelations about the company's crimes even further. To accelerate the unrest, weaken the oppressor. But such an act would require Jade's assistance. And Nora? Would be alone once more. Make your choice. Keep the egregor for yourself and the protest falter. But Nora will be cared for. Allow me to use my powers, and the source of all Athena's woes shall be brought low. So low that they might never recover. What is your decision?
take the Egregor. Very well. What's happening in Brittle? Please. I need to know. Your newly formed family is split. Jade and Nora return to the Nyads. Laszlo has vowed to fight the oppressor in their place. And... my mother? Laszlo spoke with her. She knows of the pain her plan will cause, even to Nora. But she persists. What is she thinking? Her own... Her own... How can she do this? The protests falter. They do not fail, but their progress is halted. Thank you. I have to go. Give my regards to power. themselves into now. Each time I'm given you, Gregor, they appear and steal it. Impossible. We cannot manifest in each other's realms unless... Unless granted entry, I know. But they've done it. span of... of... 
Well, of someone with a very short attention span. Left to their own devices long enough, they become distracted by the next idea to enter their frazzled mind. We don't have time. People are dying. Atina is crumbling. Yes, most unfortunate. Wait, what's this now? Well, well, well. What? What's happened? It seems your empathetic ways have borne fruit. Please! No more talking in riddles. Just... A contingent of monoconcerned security has broken off from the front lines. They've defected. Yana. Yes. They lead them in their rebellion. Fascinating. I shall aid them. Boy, their spirits. Nothing worse than a soldier with no morale. And Nora? Jade? Hmm. Even with the turncoats, the protests are increasing in intensity. The violence is escalating. Shattered teeth, burned skin. Laszlo rushing to the vanguard, replacing Jade, who has fled to Nora's side. It's really quite touching. I have to. I've got to. Go, get to glory. Reverie and Brittle depend on it. Is injured. No. Be still. He lives, but the strands that tie him to this existence pull ever more taut and strained. What? What happened? The details are unclear, but they are painful. A fall, blood, allied feet trampling them. Oh, army. I need to go. He'll need me. I need to help him. You can do nothing for him. Not in that place. Jade has taken up the fight. There's no time left. Many lives now depend on your actions. On what you do here in Reverie. How? What can I do? Follow Chaos's design.
infinite possibilities are born in this moment. I have seen all the conclusions and their consequences. Take the Egregor. Monoconza and the oppressor will be dealt a death blow. It will weaken them so they may never recover. And it is the only way, the only possible way to save your Laszlo. I have seen the futures, but the tides of time are fickle. The best way, the only way to save Laszlo is with chaos. But even then, there are no guarantees. Thank you, Bond. I am here for you. We all are. Remember, Harmony. The only certainty is the certainty of chance. Grab it while you can. Try. Fail and try again. I will. Gregor, all of it. No, no, you can't let the plan die. Think of your mother. The, the approval she'd grant you. The pride she'd feel. Trust means a great deal to me. Use this trust to break. To shatter the invisible.
must be the new oracle I keep hearing about. Well, hello. I, um, hello. You've met me at a very strange time in my existence. Are you all right? What happened? All this Egregor? Things may have gotten a little... out of hand. Would you like the full screenplay or just the highlights? Reverie. Brittle. Everything's falling apart. We need to... Highlights it is. Oh, we need a drink. Oh, so it's going to be like that. What did they do to you? like you wouldn't believe. This, all this, the Egregor. It was a deal, a collab, with someone on your side, Brittle. They give me enough of it to keep Reverie going. I give them a peek into the future. Mix things up a bit. Bastards did something to it. Changed it. <laughs> they played me. They played me. But now, without it, I... Without it, I can't... siblings have a lot to complain about. Everybody was worried, or, you know, unsettled. I will leave the heart. It's the only way to show, to prove my fucking goodwill. Good. That will appease them. Is, is that you, Glory? Thank <laughs> you.
Polly. Laszlo. Laszlo is dead. Those bastards! You two, stay here. I'll go find Ursula. What? Why? I'm worried. And... I need air. And I need... to get some groceries. We can't rely on Jade to feed us for the rest of our lives. Polly... I think it's a great idea.
Mother? The prodigal daughter returns. Or something like that. Is there an equivalent in the Oxion culture? Oh, no. The Oxions were not known to be as forgiving as that. Perhaps that's what caused them to disappear. They didn't believe in forgiveness or love or charity. Let's go home. Home? What for? If we had followed my plan, maybe home would still exist. But now? What for? Come on. The worst thing is... Laszlo didn't agree with me. My plan was too violent for him. Too aggressive. Right up to the very end, he was always the same. Protecting others before himself. And look what happened to him. I saw his face in town. Somebody in Alma painted a mural of him. Things are changing outside the Nyad's walls. So what? We need you. At home. And with what's about to come. You don't need me. You never did. We need you. I need you. You don't. The aspirations. I... I can't hear them anymore. Maybe it's what happened in Glory's Pyramid, or maybe it's the anger I felt when I heard about Laszlo. Anger? <laughs> At them? They could have warned me. They schemed and plotted, playing with our lives. His life. No. No. The aspirations need us more than we need them. You are their oracle. You are their guide. When I was their oracle, I could always find answers to my problems and the problems of those around me. You cannot sever your link with Reverie. I won't go back. I'll go back home if you agree to reconnect with the Aspirations. Will you help me? Of course.
to offer my condolences for Laszlo. You already sent me a message. Yeah, but I kept thinking about it. Just sending a message didn't seem like the right way to express my feelings. Thank you. I came for another reason. I found a box of old pictures. Memories from high school. Stuff like that. I'd like you to have them. present I love it it's so weird how we we grow up exactly <laughs> do you remember the crocodile song the uh, crocodile song it all the time even during our final exams and you got in trouble for it <laughs> because of you
glory? Glory? What's going on? What happened? Okay. What happened to the heart? Mm. Disappeared when Glory stepped down. That dream? Yes, we did rather feel that. <laughs> and it wasn't just a dream. It was a warning of what will come to pass if a heart isn't chosen, and soon. The clock is ticking, Harmony. Wait. What frivolous ideas will you try to plant in her mind next? Oh, is that what we're going to do today? Fight? Now is not the time for petty squabbling between us. Now is the time for action. I believe the action could stand to wait for our oracle to catch her breath. You have an 
awful lot of processing to do. Poor thing. Take some time to yourself. No mingling, no socialising, no worrying about reverie or what's to come. No ruminating. Preserve yourself. Protect your heart and your feelings. I am much more than you know. I am a being of inner balance. I send dreams that make you preserve your deepest self, your innermost glory. And I'm in a similar situation since I've been freed. We must bolster ourselves before it's too late. Vent, cry, scream, whatever you need to do. Focus on the present moment. But... Whatever will be, will be. We are not suggesting you abandon your duties. But do not abandon yourself. Thank you both. I see what you mean. Weather's nice today. Is it? Yeah. Great. So, you wouldn't want to go to the skate park with me, would you?
I'm glad people are thinking of him and love him, but he was my granddad. I've heard what they're saying on the trivid and online. Some people are trying to make him into a symbol of MK's oppression, but like, that's my granddad they're talking about. And he's dead. I'd never wish this pain on anyone, but I wish people would think about how using his name and face for the movement makes us feel. But what good is it to call for a revolution and then refuse to get involved? I just... holding up? Oh, uh, you know. Like shit. Same. Yeah. That's normal. Healthy, even. me if I said I needed a change of scene and might sleep over at Jade's tonight. I love you and I think you should go. Okay, how about this? That's kind of the reason I wanted you to come, so I could ask you that. To skate too, but uh, yeah. Mm, still love you. back for the training wheels if you want. I'll be going to the bar soon to do some cleaning and tie up loose ends, shutting off the electricity, water and such. I need help, if you're able.
that stuff at the gate. All those offerings. Man, I hate them. It is a little unsettling, but people need to grieve. Not just for a man, but for everything they've lost. He's the face of injustice now. Not much we can do about it. And the people out there need... They need a focus. Grandpa's face on that feeling. I can't do it, at least not now. I feel ashamed for not demanding justice or, or rioting or anything, but I just want to be sad and hope the rage and the outcry will still be there when I'm ready. He didn't want his death to be a public spectacle. We didn't talk about it much, but he knew he was getting older. He knew he'd be gone one day, that I'd be without him. I never imagined it would be like this. I don't know about you guys, but I need more room to grieve. I. I miss him so much. There's a limit to what we can control, and Laszlo's death is not on us. It's hard because we knew him. But there were also things he did not share with us. For my part, I have mixed feelings, if you must know. Nora, I know you don't agree. But what's done is done. And I do appreciate what Laszlo's spirit has inspired here on Atina. I don't 
really know what to do. I don't think there is any right way to feel about this. It's not like anything like this has happened to us before. Thank you, though, for being honest. become a focal point for everyone. A symbol of good, overcome by whatever the hell MK represents. Who the hell are we to take that away from people? Wars like this are one with such symbols. I must admit it has been difficult to see his face splashed across the streets. All those posters. But our pain is not the issue here. He's become something more now. His memory has, at least. I get it. I do. It's just... I hate it, but... I can bear it. is your chief concern. It will be painful, but it always is. When many grieve as one, it may hurt less. I've never seen the Nyads this crowded. Me neither. Laszlo was loved by all of us.
people. He was loved. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Polly, I have something to ask you, but not now, after the ceremony. If that's all right. Sure. We'll talk after. These things are always horrible. Sorry, I... I don't mean to bring down the mood. It's fine. It really can't get much lower. Are you okay? It's just... Brings back a lot of memories, you know? Not my first rodeo. Find somewhere quiet. Get you a drink. Laszlo. He was... His type is rare these days. Genuine. Kind. But I hardly knew him. Maybe I should go. He'd want you to be here. You think? Yes. I do. If not for him, then for Nora. I want to do something. To help. But... I... There's nothing else you can do. But, Jade, just you being here is enough. coming here today. I can't speak for my... my family, but I know the sight of you gathered here has done me a world of good. So, Laszlo. Laszlo was... Laszlo was my partner. Laszlo was a parent. Laszlo was the cornerstone of a community. Our community. And he is gone.
strange times. Even those of us who have lived for generations haven't seen their life. It makes one wonder what the point of being an emotional gestalt even is. You feel different. Yes. Yes, I, I, I have changed these past few weeks. The state of reverie. The business with glory and chaos. I have not been my usual self. And for that, I apologize. It's fine. But I need your help now. All of you. I cannot speak for the others. But you have my allegiance. I will walk with you through these... dire times. Didn't you hear? No, I, I was uh, away. You in? Never mind. Listen. Ursula just told everyone. Alma, the whole community. They've launched a class action lawsuit against MK. What? Yeah. It was her idea. It might even help the prescients. Her way of apologizing, I guess. The situation pivots once more. I certainly didn't expect this. Not at all. It's not like my mother to be so... community-minded. Death is the ultimate clarifier. Your mother has changed. The question now is... Will you change along with her? Quite the speech. Yes. I'm sorry I didn't let you in on the secret earlier, but... Well, I didn't want to take anything away. From all this. Laszlo will be proud. You think so? I know so. The last thing he'd have wanted is his... His, his death distracting us from the real goal. The real goal. I've wondered about that. What it actually is. 
The end of MK. The freeing of Atina and the unification of Reverie. I suppose. Hardly much to ask for, is it? You okay? I should be asking you that. I'm fine. Come on. Every morning I wake up with the world's worst headache, and I still can't hear out of my right ear. Nora. Small price to pay for, you know, stopping MK. For now. I wish I had a family. You do? Us? Yeah, but not really, though. When's the last time you made me a cup of tea? You have never asked for a cup of tea. All right, then. Make me a cup of tea. No. See? Still. Don't you go worrying about this lot. We'll make sure they're safe. Really? To the extent we can. We will watch over you and your loved ones. For now, the Nyads are safe. Protect my family from MK's lies. We're on it. Go ahead and take a load off while you still can, Harmony. Whatever is to come, you must approach it with a clear mind and fresh eyes.
Don't worry. We're on your side. And you always have been, right? Pretty much, yeah. Centuries. Even before, perhaps. This is it, and I can't do it alone. so hot. Oh, come on. You can do it. Do this.
about the bar? What about it? It, uh, must be worth something. Less than you'd think. He built that place himself out of cocktail sticks and willpower. And the idea of selling it is, to me, quite infuriating. I... I didn't mean to. I know. But Nora can't hear about this. It would turn her rather feral, I'm afraid. All right. Noted. So, are we thinking of... accepting MK's offer? There's an old Oxion saying my mother used to quote. The hand that strikes cannot be the hand that feeds. They can't just smash things up, throw money at us, and expect everyone to forgive and forget. What sort of precedent would that be setting? That's a lot of money to leave on the table for the sake of principle. Sometimes, you've got to take the risk. When did anyone manage to change things? Really change things without taking a few risks? Someone has to stand firm. Draw the line. Stop the charade. There's no way this offer is on the level. There'll be traps, loopholes, tripwires. Maybe they're traps we can turn back on the hunter, though. Something we can use to turn the tide. Maybe. I'm not a lawyer. And neither are you. I doubt they're bluffing about the money, at least. They have enough of it. Perhaps. Find a solution, Polyhymnia, or my hand will be forced. I don't like the thought of accepting their proposal any more than you do, but there are too many things depending on us right now.
I'll keep fighting, whatever happens. They're not asking me to sign anything. I'm most certainly in this for the long haul. MK is not my biggest fan right now. They're throwing around terms like associating with terrorists and destruction of property and legal ramifications. So, I'm just hanging in there with the rest of you. Everything's going to be all right. We'll find a way to make things work. I'm applying for financial aid to get us a better lawyer. That way, we may be able to face MK on the same footing. If we take the money, we won't need it. But otherwise, it's a good idea to have legal advice. Whatever happens, we'll figure it out together. Thank you, Polly. I'm so glad you're here. Let's hope for the best. taking the money. We can't give in to MK. We have to keep fighting. MK's gonna want to put you in your place now. You know that, right? They've spent a lot of time working on the art of retaliation. It would have been wiser to accept the money and betray them when you had room to maneuver. Now we'll have to find another way, while we still can. about the timing. Yeah, you'd think MK did that to spite us specifically if they weren't so kind and generous. Everyone else, too. But 
We're obviously on the menu. got back to me. That doesn't sound like good news. It's not. We aren't eligible. Did they say why? What were their criteria even? Um, how are we not in need? I wish I knew. I'm so sorry, Nora. I'm glad you tried, but... Uh, ouch. At this rate, I'm even willing to say a prayer. I'm not certain who will hear it, especially with the revelation of reverie, but it can't hurt. I'll do my best to help, but for the time being, I need to leave for the shop. I have a few things we might be able to use. To be honest, horrible, drained. Mm. 
We're mourning Laszlo. MK is targeting us, and they're hurting almost everyone on the island. They've tortured the prescience. All over Atina, people are in pain, and they're hurting each other. Brittle is doing badly, and Reverie hasn't helped as much as I hoped. Such a situation requires more than hope. Well, at least I tried. This is our oracle. We must not dismiss her concerns. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I have to keep going. I think now is a good time to try boosting morale. Right before battles, great leaders often tell stories or make influential speeches. I'm not a leader, and definitely not a great one. May I remind you that you're the only one in touch with Reverie. Your scope of action is much larger than everyone else's. I don't doubt that it's uncomfortable. But people look to you for a reason. It's about the darkest days of Atina. A time when the Oxion civilization was on the brink of collapse. I think we should try sharing it with people. There was a war? In Reverie? Apparently. It doesn't go into details, but it seems the fall of the Oxion culture set something off across the Divide. The aspirations turned on each other. It was quite brutal, it seems. They never told me. I guess they didn't want to heap any more pressure on you. Me? You. The Oracle. They couldn't find a way to end the conflict, so they created the first Oracle. In turn, the Oracle chose a new heart, and the war ended. Of course, until this week, I thought it was all a metaphor, a parable on, on trust or something.
And here I was, thinking all copies of that little ditty were destroyed. <laughs> I'll have to tell Power. It'll send him looping. It ends with the Aspirations vowing to help Atina in return for the Oracle's aid. Sounds familiar. I see what you're doing. Me? <laughs> you. Maybe it would do everyone some good. To hear that what we're going through has happened before. And that everything turned out okay. That's why stories exist, right? Community. A way to share experiences and to shape the collective imagination. To inspire. You coming? Yeah. Just give me a minute. I think I'm going to go straight to the source on this one. Come on. I know you're there. Oh, no fair. You cheated. All those powers of yours. Oracle? Comes with a title. You were listening? Only a bit. Well, a lot. Want to tell me about it? I don't know. The others might get all moody. They don't like talking about it. It's all ancient history this, and water under the bridge that. Then again, perhaps a story might not be the worst idea. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Stage is yours. Hi, everyone. And um, so this is an old Oxion story that, well, I think it might be just what we all need right now. Oh, let me tell it. Do go on. I'm ever so good. Pragmatic is my middle name. Not really, of course. It's Suzanne. <clears throat> At first, there was nothing. At first, there was nothing. Very nice, good diction. There was nothing for a very long time indeed. And then... There was me. Chaos was born! The first aspiration born from humanity. You see, we're not creators, we're not gods. We're concepts. Your concepts, made real by the collective subconscious. As the first Homo sapiens looked out into the world, all they saw was chaos, unrest, freedom. Unlimited possibility. From that possibility came... Me. I help them make sense of the world, embrace the limitless, appreciate the boundless potential. I 
taught humanity how amazing community could be. How sticking together made everything a little bit nicer, you know? Every time you lot take a new turn, one of us lot is bored. And for a long time, it was just the two of us, wasn't it, you little gremlin? That's right. I was the warm fire after a hunt, or a newborn's first squeal. And I was the growl in the night, the open plain ready to be explored. And after that, well... Well, indeed. Things may have gotten a little... out of hand. Aspirations. Chaos believed that reverie could exist without a heart, that communal rule was the way forward. I disagreed, of course. Rather vehemently, as I recall. Mm. But I did side with power. We needed order, not anarchy. Our responsibilities to Brittle are too great to gamble on one aspiration's wild flight of fancy. They disagreed with my disagreeing and sent their agents to co-opt my egregor supply. In turn, I sent my armies into their maze to rout them out of hiding. Armies? You've mentioned those before. The Nafi Gregor. We are able to construct familiars. To split ourselves into a thousand soldiers, if needs must. It took a great deal of effort, and Chaos's traps took even more. When I reconnected with Reverie, I saw... I thought I saw... Images very much like that. Yes. Such actions echo across the ages, becoming forever etched into each of our histories. When we lost connection with Brittle, with our Oracle, we feared such events might repeat themselves. Brittle and Reverie. Two sides of the same coin. Reflection seen through a cracked mirror. If we cannot find our balance, neither will Brittle, and vice versa, of course. When we began to fight, so did your kind. Wars, disease, despotic leaders. Latina was engulfed in a flame of our making. Or we engulfed by theirs. The truth is a multifaceted thing. But now, MK, the state of reverie, it's all happening again. Last time, what did you do? How did you stop the collapse? We found an island, the keystone between the two realms. Athena. And there we chose a mortal to become our conduit. 
the first oracle. They were tasked with choosing the new heart. They chose the direction humanity would take. them in the palm of your WhatsApp. Don't lose them. Maybe you talk about the first oracle. What were they like? Why did they choose who they chose? <laughs> Good luck with that. Can't imagine you getting anything worth repeating out of this bunch. Or at least nothing coherent. Everyone's got an opinion. It's like our story, isn't it? We did our part. Now it's up to you to bring it home. Oh, it doesn't end. No stories end. They just peter out. Look, I can tell you this much. For every cycle of humanity, each time there's a big old change in your world, a new aspiration is born. We're well overdue for a new one. Like, really, it's been ages. Truth is, I don't know what happened next. I don't know what the Oracle is meant to represent. I guess we have to make up our own story from here on out. Oxion writings tell of a final Oracle. A chosen one, for lack of a better term. Their deities, the aspirations Polly spoke of, all of them were waiting for this final piece of the puzzle. They called this oracle Harmony. They referred to every oracle this way, hoping against hope that this time the title would stick. Hoping for the moment an oracle would become one of them. An aspiration. the oracles how did you choose them did you even choose at all what do you want from me really so nothing's changed has it 
I'll have to figure this out by myself. Harmony, wait! Don't call me that! Yeah, the truth is, we chose the first oracle out of desperation. We needed them. We needed their guidance. We needed an end to the war. An end we were unable to bring about ourselves. So, that's all they were? A tool? Initially, yes. But then... Well, we realized you're all right, you lot. Humanity. You may not believe this, but it turned out we'd been so obsessed with our own affairs that we'd completely overlooked everything in Brittle. And so the arrangement became permanent, and the oracles became a guiding hand on the rudder of reverie. Not leaders, but advisors. Major Domos. Producers. Friends! But what about me? What do you want from me? That, I'm afraid, is up to you. What kind of oracle you choose to become is not up to us. It is the very nature of the agreement that you continue as your own person. Right? Right. Well, in that case, I'm going to be... As the Oracle, I want to be empathetic. As the Oracle, I want to feel what others feel, and consider how others will react. Every decision must be for the benefit of the many, not the few. An oracle has to be fearless, ambitious, determined. Every decision I make must be firm, with everything I have behind it. Change requires strength, and I have the strength to be an effective oracle. Yes. A valid choice. Indeed, the very first Oracle had the heart of a warrior. To bring about peace, they turned to war. They urged us to fight. To show our prowess on the field of battle. Fighting and fighting until all were weakened. Exhausted. And we saw that nothing had changed. We realized the futility of it all. 
A pointless waste. The Oracle had us build the labyrinth. A maze to store all our grievances. A place where they could be... forgotten. We still... bear the scars of that quarrel. In more ways than one. And of course, there was only one real way to end the war. They had to bring peace to Brittle, too. something funny you look like you were reading from a script talking about the first oracle oh, I didn't realize but I don't think any of it was particularly funny hey what's so funny nothing nothing sorry we just... Honestly, all the history is interesting, but it's not primetime stuff, you know? We want to hear about actions. Real stuff we can work on, stuff that can make a difference. Like, how did this first oracle settle the conflicts in Brittle? Going by the folks here, the prescients, the oracle must have been pretty powerful. Definitely powerful enough to stop a war. Oracle split their time between the realms. They learned from the aspirations, but also their fellow humans. This was their skill. Duality of perspective. But to end the war in Brittle, they had to rely on reverie. They listened to the aspirations, individually and together, and in the end, they gave the Oracle a gift, a way to bring peace to Brittle. strength. Mental strength, yes, but also physical. The power to tear down their enemies, the enemies of the people. The aspirations had grown to trust the Oracle so completely that they were willing to gift them some of Reverie's power.
Argentina was facing its darkest days. There was an ecological disaster. The specifics are lost to time, but we know the population was devastated by vicious storms, which brought floods and mudslides. Then, as they are wont to do, a dictator arose, taking advantage of the pain and suffering to wield absolute power. The people were despondent. The ruling class's own inadequacy provided the perfect distraction. As they lurched from one calamity to the next, the populace grew ever more apathetic. And when there were signs of rebellion, half the populace looked away or sided against their own interests. It was up to the Oracle to break this cycle. To break the system that had enslaved the people. So they had to act. They decided to. to dig themselves out. They pursued a path of knowledge, teaching the populace a different way to live. The foundations of new forms of government were built. Curiosity reigned, and people studied the world around them. What's more, people shared their knowledge. They didn't secret it away or censor it. They taught one another. This gave them more power through the sum of that knowledge. They decided to... They decided to start again, thanks to the gift of prescience. The Oracle, and a select few, decided to begin a new cycle, outside of the old. They believed Athena had become unsalvageable. That they had to instead create the world they wanted to live in. Oxion civilization collapsed. After a few decades, all that was left were some musty books and ruins. The tyrant destroyed the rest, but the Oracle and their followers were safe. They found a corner of Athena to call home, a space where the tyrant's influence was weak. They created their own way of life, and lived in peace. Great! So, what? This oracle and their cultists just left the rest to hang? My thoughts precisely. And they thought this tyrant would just let them be? Let me guess, that didn't happen? But wait, change is a long-term process, right? You told me that. Sure. So how do you enact long-term change if there's no one around to, you know, actually change things? That dictator guy, long gone, consigned to the history books. How many people here have even heard of him? What if that's because of the seeds the Oracle planted? Planted on their own terms? Y 
Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. So go on then. Which aspiration are you going to choose? Who becomes the heart? I've dedicated my whole life to the pursuit of truth. Historical truth. Emotional truth. Philosophical truth. So, I think you can see where my preferences lie here. I would certainly be a valid choice. Many of your kind, like this young man, are naturally drawn to me. But this is often because they believe I know your kind better than you know yourselves. Regardless, in previous eras where I took the position of heart, learning increased, knowledge flourished. So too did religion, the institutional search for the greater truth. Systemic institutions grew in power. Governments, religious authorities, educational systems. But the truth is nothing if not rigid, immovable, definite. Truth does not mean equality. It means serving a greater purpose.
know what I'm doing here. Sure you do, Sprout. The Orgrel. It's not enough. Not anymore. And with all the Agregor you've gathered up, you're gonna supercharge it! I... think so. It might allow me to... change things. Change the future, but... How do I know this? Part of every oracle is of reverie. Your subconscious is linked to us aspirations, and the sum total of our knowledge. Egregor is our source of power, just as it is the Orgrels. But... No one has ever risked exposing themselves to such an amount. But will it work? Yes. But not, perhaps, in the manner you expect. You will become one with time itself. Your presence on this plane will bend in ways even I cannot foresee. Days will feel like seconds. Months like hours. Years like... Well, you get the idea. And back here, in reality, I don't want the others to worry. To them, you will be present and absent. There, but not there. Like a cat in a box. Remember what I told you way back when we met? Try not to think about it too much. I don't.
last of the coffee. Well, that's it then. Might as well give it all up. Shower's leaking too. And the toilet. What are we gonna do? talking about it in your network yeah there's been a shift the hardliners have performed a soft coup anyone in the upper echelons of management that opposed the shutoffs have been replaced Thank you. 
They should know better. They should have seen. They do. They have. They don't care. They know we can't provide. Uh, maybe they, they thought they were doing us a favor? Reducing the mouths we have to feed.
It makes no sense. Everything that's happened, it has to have had an effect on their bottom line. Maybe that's why... No, Ursula's right. They don't think like that short term. This doesn't make sense. At all. But whatever the reason is, we should be thanking our lucky stars. something. Don't supermarkets have a, I don't know, reserve stock or something? No, definitely not. That's what the supply chain is for. You know, the supply chain that just collapsed.
opened a new store. Did you see? The one sponsored by the car company? Yeah. We need to be careful. We can't afford to backslide into oppression just because they flash us a golden smile. True. They've got great bombard, though. Well... Faceted future and made it your own. You are here with us together. We are real. <laughs> Quite the experiment back there. <laughs> I don't even think I'd have dared do something as batshit as that. But it worked, didn't it? Look at what she did. She risked destroying the fabric of reality itself to shape fate to her will. I am impressed, Harmony. And now? What happens now? Now, honey? It's showtime.
It is done. She is here. Harmony. Welcome. Harmony. I am equilibrium. Peace. I have arrived. Seems much simpler now. The connective lines of causality dance before me like willing supplicants, showing me the effect before the cause. I left many I loved behind, yet I feel no pain. I can see them, learning from their mistakes, some growing from their suffering, all celebrating their victories. On the tip of my tongue, waves of powerful emotions, each with its own flavor. Nora, Omar, Ursula, Yana. These beloved characters exist in my mind, drawn and cosplayed by my heart and the million souls within it. On the shores of Atina, many believed that Polly was lost. Nothing could be further from the truth. I was not lost. Harmony was found. And I know you will carry this name like a flame as long as my age lives and shines. <laughs> 